I saw you doing all that walking. <laughs> well, we walk up to, uh, you know, where uh, the Jewish high school is up there? Uh, no, I don't actually know. No. Okay, it's, in, it's right inside of University City. So. Oh, that's far up, away. That's the way, isn't it? Up that way. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. to University City. So it's a good little walk. But how often do you walk that long? Oh, we we walk. That's a little longer than our usual walk. That's Sometimes what I mean. we walk that's up cool. to the yeah. up to the elementary school. Oh know? yeah, 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 yeah. Up the up the elementary school and back. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I do, I do Stacy Park. Yeah. Mm. Take a sip of your coffee yeah. now. Huh? Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. So how have you been? Oh, I've been I've, I've been good. You know, my my, my uh, uh, I've been good. I don't I don't have any. As they say, I don't have any complaints. Or you know what they say in Africa? Okay, this is a good one. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna give you an African saying now, right? Okay. You know, there's a there's a um, a place called uh, well Swaziland. Well, like they they renamed it. They, they went back to their real name, which is Isitini, right? But in Isitini or Swaziland, they would say. Um, at Christmas time, uh, the goat can't complain. The goat can't complain at Christmas time. The goat has no complaints at Christmas time. You know, you can complain if you want to, yeah. but see, Christmas time, that's when they slaughter the goats and to eat for everybody to eat, the goats and the cows or whatever have you, so they have something to eat, you know? Wow. So, for, for celebration or whatever have you. So the, so the goat can't complain. So if I say something, well, I don't have any complaints. You know, the goats the one that complain. <laughs> because the goat, they, they eat them at the Christmas time. Aren't, so it was bad yeah. for the goats at Christmas time. <laughs> yeah. I like it's, a, it's, it's bad for the turkeys at Thanksgiving. <laughs> I get, yeah. Yeah, but that's, yeah, that's true. Uh, I saw a turkey out here. I saw a turkey. Yeah. Um, by, I guess it's by that campus with all them, you know, the, the rich people are that that, that that high school where it, it looks like a college. It looks like I don't know what it looks like. Yeah, that's that's M I C D S. Yeah. Yeah, I it's, think I saw a it turkey. It looks like a college, there. doesn't it? Yeah. It looks like yeah. a college, doesn't it? But I saw uh, I saw a turkey there. I said, "Ooh, this is the wrong time for you to be hanging out." You better... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, so... yeah. Now you know. I'm sorry, go ahead. I think okay. I remember, uh, you know what, uh, what Teddy Kennedy used to say. He used to say, uh, speak softly and carry a big stick. No, I don't think that was Teddy Kennedy. That was, that was oh, Theodore, wait, Ro wait. Theodore Roosevelt. I'm sure that, Teddy you know why? Teddy Roosevelt. You know why Teddy I know Roosevelt. that Theodore Roosevelt? Teddy Roosevelt. I, Roosevelt? Was, I was wrong. I'm going to tell you, it wasn't wrong. It was, don't, don't worry about being wrong. There's no right or wrong. I'm going to tell you why I know that. But you're right about that. But, but uh, you know you're why correct. I'm right? You know why I'm right? I'm going to tell you why I'm right. It's an but, African saying, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not an African saying. <laughs> I mean, the African saying I actually got from Africa because I've been to Swaziland. But, um, but I, you know, I told you I was born, I was born and raised in South Bronx. Now, yeah, I was yeah. supposed to go and then call Morris High School, but they put me in a special program, uh, College Discovery. Yeah. This is a precursor to the, some other stuff. Anyway, so I went from, uh, I lived on 141st Street. Now, 190th Street, that's where, it's a long way, that's where uh, Fordham University is. Okay. And right across from Fordham University was my high school. Okay. You want to guess the name of my high school? I can't guess. Theodore Roosevelt High School. Oh, very good. That's why I know that. Very I got good. to know who my, my <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Yeah. You know, Teddy Roosevelt and Rough, Rough Riders. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. You know, Rough Riders. We, they, got, a, we they, got a Roosevelt High School here in St. Louis. Oh, yeah? Yep. Yeah. That's oh, Teddy, okay. Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah. Well, you know, you know, Rough Riders are black. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, I knew that. But well, I go to Theodore Roosevelt High School. <laughs> I didn't know stuff like that. Yeah, actually, I know Kennedy. we had the Rough Riders though. Yeah, that's right. But the Rough Riders were black troops. Is that right? That's right. right. Yeah, so look it up. Look at that Teddy Roosevelt High School in St. Louis. Say, hey, did you know the Rough Riders? Let me look at you, let me look at your record there. Let me see what y'all know about Teddy Roosevelt. I think yeah. I can look at it. Now. I don't want to do the smartphone. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. Oh yeah. Teddy well, Roosevelt. Yeah. Well, if you go to Roosevelt High School, you're supposed to know these things, you know. Oh well. Yeah. <laughs> what high school you go to? Uh, Country Day. Oh, wait a second, there's nobody. 
this is you got to know. Then you got to know about the. Then you know about the country then. Uh, <laughs> I guess what? a little bit. We lived in the. You know, it's, it's all, it used to be considered the country before it became the county. But, oh, uh, oh, okay. I guess I was wrong with that. You're St. Louis okay. Country Day, but you know the big, uh, that big scout, that big school that looks like a college. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's combined. Mm -hmm. it, it was. Uh, see. Country Day was a private school, mm -hmm. and it combined with it was a it was a boys' school. Right. And Boy Mary school. Institute was a private school. Mary Mary Institute. Yeah, it was a girls' school. It was a girls' school. I guess Mary's like like the Virgin Mary. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, Mary Institute. Yeah. So um, I don't know if that's where the name comes from or not, but that's that was the name of it, Mary Institute. So they combined the two and made it uh, M-I-C-D-S, Mary Institute Country Day School, M-I-C-D-S. So that's that big thing that looks like a college. Yeah. That's yeah. what that is now. Yeah, the institute. But I did, yeah. now you said you were Country Day and then it was Mary Day, so obviously the days were together. So it was Mary Institute. Well, oh, it was Mary Institute. I thought yeah. it was Mary Day. No, Mary Institute. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I made I, now I made another mistake. I put stuff together that don't exist. Well, you know, it's, it's easy to do, but I was I was certainly right. I'm, I mean, uh, you read about uh, Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah, Teddy Roosevelt was the, the Rough Rider. Yeah. yeah, he was the Rough Rider. He was a, he was a little guy. Yeah. He was, they say he was overcompensating. <laughs> he had asthma and all that stuff. I just well, you know, they asthma. say they say the same thing about uh, Napoleon. You know that he was mm -hmm. he was. A, small guy and he was compensating uh, for his height. Right. Yeah, that's happened. I don't know if it, to what extent wow. that's true. But well, look, what's up? What's, we get all that stuff. What's our reading for today? We gotta, we gotta uh, know what, what's going on. Because you, can I tell you something? Yeah. You know, I'm reading this book called, um, is it Breath? Breath. By this guy, I told you about this guy. Uh, is it James somebody? Oh, I forgot Breath. His name. Yeah. yeah, Breath. I told Breath. you about that book. Yeah, you did. Okay. Uh, James Nestor. That's the guy's Nestor, right? But I came to this part, and I remember yesterday, not yesterday, whatever day it was, you read that part about the guy, the big, uh, the big guy that had the, the land from, from India, I guess India or, or Southeast Asia, all the way to Mesopotamia, was it Mesopotamia, or, or down through to 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 Kush to Africa, right? Yeah. Well, in breath, they was talking about um, there's a, it, that same area, except they yeah Xerxes, they, yeah. They, but they, they didn't say nothing about Af this wasn't Africa, but in that area, those people. They were they, they became farmers, and that changed everything. Huh. You know that same area you was talking about, the uh -huh. Xerxes guy. Yeah. Then he controlled that same area. That I guess maybe was when he was controlling it. They started instead of hunting gathering, they started farming, and so they, that's how they got a little richer because they had stores. Oh, anyway, anyway, I just yeah. it, when I when I read when I read that part, I remember what you said there. You see. You remember before you said, oh, I'm pretty smart. I'm not smart. That's what happens. Things like that happen. So I can remember that because I remember what, what you read in the Bible. Yeah. So now that sticks with me. Yeah, we remember things that we can relate to. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got for today. I've got, uh, this must be. Um, what day it is? I'm, I'm gonna look on my smartphone. 21st. Ah man, you get it. Oh no, right there. It says right there. 21st. 21st. You're right. Okay. Okay. Oh, so this is a good one. I got the. This is Job, Book of Job. Job, so, that's the guy with the patience, right? That's the. They say, yeah. That, that's uh, yeah, the guy with the patience. Yeah. Okay. But he, uh, they say, some say that Job is the oldest book in the Bible. They okay. say that's the oldest one. Even written before Genesis. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah. So that's see. Uh, in the land of us, there lived a man whose name was Job. That's how it starts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You remember the story that, of Job, the, and, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I think so. But in the land of who? In the land of us? Us. U Z. U Z. Us. U Z. U Z. Us. Okay. Okay. And uh, that's the Old Testament. Then okay. we got a uh, First Corinthians fourteen. Follow the way of love and eagerly desire spiritual gifts, gifts, especially the gift of prophecy. Well, Paul goes into how there are 
different spiritual gifts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What he, and then he says each. So prophecy is like you can see, though. No, not well, not necessarily. You can see into the future. You can see. Yeah, you prophecy can see. would be yeah, being able to see into the future exactly. Or just seeing, I guess. Oh, well, that's, I guess it's future. I don't know. I have a thing. I have a theory. I call the third infinity. It's not the future. It's the now. It's going so far into the now that you can't touch it. That's a theory. Don't worry about it. It'll it'll, it'll, it'll twist your mind up, so you're not supposed to think about it. Wow. <laughs> you're not supposed to think about it. <laughs> that's, wow, that's, that's it's like, you, you know what? Okay, you you have like, you have the past. That's an infinity, right? Past, yeah. The past, the past is infinite. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, you keep on going. You keep on keep on. Yeah. And then the future is infinite. Yeah. The third infinity is the now, but it's the now that's so now that you can't touch it. You can't. You 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 can't. Because every time every time you see a now now. It's really a path. Yeah. You see how it twists up your brain, so you're not supposed to think about it. You're supposed to say, yeah. "Okay, yeah, sure, just so keep we, on going." We say, "Okay, <laughs> the past, okay, the past is is gone. Mm -hmm. The future is ahead of us. So what do we have? The present. That's what the Lord gives us. Mm -hmm, what's mm -hmm. right now. That mm -hmm. is that is His present to us. Mm -hmm. So that's why we call it the present. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Okay, makes you, sense. Does that make sense? Yeah, I guess those words, the words make sense, you know? Those vibrations. So yeah. what's the next time we have to, we, have, we did the Corinthians, now we got the, what's it, the New Testament, now okay, we got Okay, and now we got Psalms. Okay. It says, uh, Psalm 37, the wicked plot against the righteous, oh, the wicked plot against the righteous and gnash their teeth at them. But the Lord laughs at the wicked, for He knows their day is coming. Oh, okay. See, that's sure. the thing. Now we, now we sometimes, you know, we get impatient and we think, well, now, why is that person doing that and, and getting away with it? But the thing is, all all uh, all sin is dealt with. Mm. So, mm. Uh, yeah, it's on a different you know, time. In other words, they're yeah. not going to get away with it forever. There you go. There you go. But I think in this day and age, people try to get away for as long as they can. <laughs> Because they just yeah. they just get what they can right now. They yeah. figure by the time they're caught, they would have you know their belly would have been fat already, whatever. However you want to say that. Yeah. Well, that is what that comes down to is no fear of the Lord. Mm. Mm. No fear of the Lord. And there are many people that do not seem to have any fear of the Lord. So it's interesting. Well, fear. That's a whole other thing. Fear. Yeah. Because that's well, you be. Hmm. Anyway, let's let's do Psalms. Maybe get back to fear. Let's do Psalms. Well, I, should, I told you in the beginning, mm -hmm. Psalms, the wicked plot against the righteous and gnash oh, okay, their teeth. Okay, okay. But the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he knows their day is coming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the final one is, uh, so you, you're kind of getting into this, aren't you? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, that's you, like, you like to hear these readings, don't you? Well, that's what I'm saying. That, see, okay, Let, <laughs> Vaughn, let's go over this one more time, yeah? right? That again, you the one. I didn't say it. You, everybody told me saying, "Oh, you're pretty smart." And I keep on telling people, "I'm not pretty smart." Oh, I, I see listen. that you I are know. pretty. You are no, smart. No, oh, no, I see that in you. No, yeah, I no. see intelligence. Oh, what? yes, I see. Okay, that. that's okay. I'm not going to argue that. What I do is I listen to people and talk to people. I talk to everybody I can. Mm -hmm. And if you, if, and and whatever. Now, if you, if if you, I, I mean, I didn't know about this uh, 365 day Bible and the and all the stuff like that. But it's fascinating to me. I said, "Oh, really? I'm, I'm like a, I'm a regular human being. I'm curious. <laughs> well, so I'm good, not, yeah. I'm not going to not talk to somebody." I think the Lord made us that way. Yeah, yeah. The Lord made us curious. But yeah. you know, a lot of times people don't want to talk to somebody for whatever reason. Okay, back to that fear thing. But if you, how do you say it? If you, if you fear something, after a while, the fear turns to hate, and then you got to really like how many. How many people yeah. would, okay, we're sitting here with, with, with the Donald Trump flag over there, whatever. How many people at that point, first they feared Donald Trump, and then they, when they became president, right? So now people are trying to hate Donald Trump. You know, you have a lot of people who hate Donald Trump. Well, they I'm seem not, to, yeah, they seem to. Okay, yeah, seem, seem to, I don't want to be I mean, I mean, You know, you could be very well be right. They seem, they seem well, to hate no, him. No, I like your word better. Him. I don't know, I don't want to push him. anybody over the edge. I, yeah. I, think, I think you're right. So my thing is, like, I don't fear nobody, I don't hate nobody. No, I said nobody. I know a lot of mm. people fear God or whatever, but that's kind of strange too. I, I can't. If, okay, I don't want to get into that part. So, we have one last thing in this thing. I know yeah, we got we the do. we got the, Proverbs. Um, 
odd explanatory, the Proverbs. Okay. But then we just finished. The Proverbs, didn't we say the prophecy? Oh, prophecy. Pro, pro, okay, I'm mixing up the prophecy and the Proverbs. In the, in the Old Testament, we got Job. New Testament, we got Corinthians. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Psalms, we got uh, the wicked. Uh, we find mm -hmm. out that the wicked uh, plot against the righteous. And Proverbs is the sluggard's craving will bring him death. Because his hands refused to work. Well, that's pretty. That's the who? The who? The the, the the sluggard's craving will the sluggards will be the death of him, because his hands refused to work. So the in other sluggards. words, what's a sluggard? Sluggard is someone, someone slow, or say someone who's oh. who is who is refusing to oh. to uh, yeah, let's yeah, see yeah, a sluggard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, 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 like a slug. Yeah, yeah I know, like yeah. a slug. Like yeah, a, there you go, like a, a slug. Yeah, like a slug. That's yeah. me. I was, I was trying to figure out a yeah, slug. Like, What's yeah. a slug? Yeah, because you know? his hands refuse to work. Well, that's, you know, like that's that's pretty basic. Like, you know, d diligent will, will produce better results than, uh, than uh, sloth or just doing nothing. The sloth, the sloth that's the, now isn't that one of those sins? The sloth is a is a sin. It's also a little animal that goes yeah, slow yeah. over there. It's an animal oh, in Africa. In Africa, boy. a sloth, yeah. Dude, the three, because I know the three-toed sloth. Yeah, I know the three-toed sloth, yeah. Oh, okay, listen. <laughs> okay, listen, okay, I did now. You see how things come together in my head? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to tell you something. just came together. It's just in a flash. Okay, now this is... I find it funny. I know no people. I know people get all serious about what it is, but I'm just going to say, you know how uh, uh, Donald Trump, you know Mr. Trump, he be calling uh, Joe Biden Sleepy Joe. Yeah. yeah. But that's like he's like a sloth. Yeah. You know, he's like a, you know what I mean. So could Donald Trump and and never mind. I don't. All I'm trying to say, it's pretty funny to me. You know, I don't know. I'm just saying it's funny. Okay, uh, okay, let's get off there. Yeah. Speaking about Donald Trump, wait a second. Hold on. Or Joe Biden, I should say. Did, I gave you an assignment the last time. I said, right? Yeah. You supposed to watch uh, uh, the? Did you see the Biden speech last yes, night? Yes, I did. I'm glad you did, cause yes, I didn't I did. tell you the truth. I'm not really interested oh, in that didn't, stuff. You didn't see it. No. No, I don't know. Oh, we'll hard to talk else. about if you didn't see it. No, you tell me what you saw. That's what I'm trying to say. You got to report back to me. You're okay. my. You're my. How you say? Uh, you're my, you know, you're like, you're yeah, like the, my you. news person, you're my news you, uh, presenter. I'll tell you what I saw. Let's mm. see. He, um, he, he read through the speech pretty well. Mm. I think he, I think he did the whole thing on a teleprompter, but mm. he, he went through it pretty well. He seemed to have, uh, uh, seemed to be feeling uh, quite a bit of emotion. Mm. But he was talking about, uh, he's talking about four problems that the United States has, and this suggestion is that if he were president, he could solve these problems. Oh, okay. Better, well, better than Donald Trump. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah, he's got to say that. Well, tell me what the four problems are. Now I'm okay. really interested. All right. So four problems. Okay. The four problems is is the one is uh, mm. racial justice. Well, man, that is a, I mean, you know, how can, that is a, wow. I mean, I, I hardly know what to say. I don't know what to say well, about racial, racial justice. justice. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty specific, though. You know, like that. Why, why, why can't it just be justice? When well, you have justice, yeah. then that's like everything. It would be you know? ra racial justice, exactly. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I mean, I'm trying to say racial justice would be included in justice. Justice. If, if, if you, you could, just do, it, yeah. So ra you could do racial justice and then not do, say, I would have to say gender justice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or you could do yeah. gender justice. You, you yeah, know what I'm you talking could, about. You could do gender justice. You could say that the. Uh, there's no justice between the, the men, men and the women. I mean, but he, that's the one of me. Okay, that's one. Race, which seems to me, I mean, uh, Trump's approach to racial justice is to try to make a system where everyone can find a job and, and work and, and, um, and then uh, and become, uh, you know, support a family. Okay, that's I, his idea. Okay. His, his, his idea I, is no, opportunity no. to work. Okay, fine, fine, fine. fine. I don't, you, 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 Trump might change next week when he makes his speech. We're just no. dealing with what Biden said. Okay. I don't right. don't compare right. them. Those, those okay. guys right. are too separate right now. Okay. This is what I got out of the speech. Four okay. things he said is wrong. Okay, the next thing he said is wrong is the, uh, he said, uh, okay, we've got this uh, COVID-19. Uh, COVID hmm. And he said that the United States is doing worse with this than any other country in the world. And okay. it's because of Trump. Right. He said right. because Trump mishandled oh. it. And then he says, then get this, he says, if I become president, 
everyone is going to be wearing a mask. Mm -hmm. Everyone's going to be married. Well, see, the president doesn't have the, the, the authority to do that. Okay, oh, that's, yes, he has, he has no this authority to do that. Oh, this is America. This is yeah, America. This is... Oh, now you remember. Yeah. He don't remember that part. <laughs> he, he for, forgot that. He forgot that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. But, you know, I should laugh because that's why I'm still here right now because I'm still in South Africa. And South Africa closed the border. They closed because the, he say them Americans, they don't, they're not doing what they're supposed to do. So we not, we, we're not going to let them in. It was, in other words, they, they think yeah. the Americans are crazy. I'm talking about South Africa. I'm not talking about myself like that. I'm yeah. just saying. Okay, so mass thing. Okay, that's the second one, the, the COVID thing. Okay, okay. Okay, the, 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 okay there's three other problems. Oh, no, the third problem. Oh, the economy. He yeah. said the economy is in a shambles. Well, the economy, the economy, yeah. the economy has been hurt because yeah. of, of uh, you know, the, the response to, uh, the response to this uh, uh, Chinese uh, virus. It has, uh, you know, so much of it has been shut down, and now we're opening up. But you got these rules that people have to social distance and so forth. I mean, so the economy is taking a tremendous hit. But mm. of course, he he blames that on Trump. He says, "I can do the, the theory yeah, yeah, is yeah, I, well, I can well, make me president, and I'll I'll do better." Yeah, yeah. Well, well he's got to say that we'll we'll do with Trump next next week because isn't that is next week the the, the Republican? Yeah, thing? It's yeah, next week. Yeah. Okay, now no, we I'm, still with Biden. That's the third one, right? What's okay. the fourth one? I'm now. Nah, you got. You're, you're you, interested now, aren't you? Huh? You're yeah. interested. Yeah, now I'm interested. Okay. Like I said, you're my reporter. If I, oh, okay. I'm not interested. I'm reporter. You got, I'm reporter. No, now, of course, I'm reporting it from my own unique point of view. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but here's what I'm trying to say. I'm on the edge of my seat now. Okay. What's the fourth one? <laughs> All right. All right. The fourth one. Let's see. We talked about uh, racial justice. We talked about COVID. We talked about the economy. The economy. That's the COVID economy. Right? And the fourth one. No, we were oh, the minute. fourth one. No, we know. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you got to you gotta get this, man. You got to get this. The fourth one. The fourth one is climate change. A totally made up thing that the uh, Democrats are, are all uh, all excited about. No, I can't change. go. I don't know. I don't know about that. You know why I can't say that? Because, okay, I just know from just traveling. Right now, it's like uh, there are. It, the, the seasons have changed. I mean, you can see, I don't know about the climate change, but the seasons have changed. You know, you have stuff, it's almost like the equator has moved up, something like that, you know? It's like things have, have moved up, it seems to me. I'm not really sure about that. So people can argue climate change or not, but it's coming because Didn't I just heard, now, what I did see in, in California, they had these fires, but there's yeah. the first time anybody knows that they have like a tornado fire in Northern California. Yeah. A fire that's causing like a tornado, it's like a I can't. I mean, yeah. They say a tornado fire. I never heard of that. Yeah. And they say that's something. That's something new. So anyway, people can believe or not believe in climate change, but climate don't care whether you believe in climate or not. So well, the thing happen. is, the thing is, the climate does change. I mean, All over the over the years. I yeah. mean, uh, I've, I've taught science in high school. I mean, oh, you know, no. you have what they call the uh, the ice ages. Truly. And uh, you know, over. It seems uh, over long periods of times so the climate will change. It will, sure. but uh, but I don't believe. You know, of course, the what this climate change thrust is that it's because of what um, it's because of industrialization, because of CO2 uh, in the atmosphere. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. And of course, and and, and of course, uh, and Biden is suggesting make me make me president and, and this. This problem will be solved too. Well, here's the dude, so, but you know so what? Those, they, are, those are three. Those are four problems. Interesting. Four very interesting problems. And uh, uh, I have a reaction to each of them. And then, well, wait, before you get to react, I'm going to go back to the climate change. See, because the thing is, when this COVID hit, they were saying that because people had to do whatever, there's less people are not driving their cars left, they're not going to place. Like they were like dolphins back in the in some sea, like I think. A, there was in Venice. There was like dolphins in the canals or something like that. It was like really strange that the animals are coming back to where they've done they wasn't before. So the climate change, I guess, has to. It's just like the mass. If you tell the people to do something, then the people, and then this whole industrial thing will change too. Well, I so. think you know, the the uh, climate change is kind of like a uh, story of. Um, I think it was Chicken Little that started to tell her friends the sky uh -huh. was falling. Oh yeah, the, the sky was falling. So, uh, right. so 
on the other hand, you know, I believe there are problems that relate to pollution in the environment. I mean, there have been problems. I mean, in St. Louis, during the early morning, Years ago, they had what they called, I think it was Black Tuesday or something, when there was mm. so much smoke that people could hardly, they couldn't even see from mm. the smoke and coal. So, I mean, solution, pollution can be a huge problem, and uh, it can cause a lot of damage. And so, uh, I think that people have to be, you know, we have to do something to control pollution, mm. like smog mm. or. Uh, you know, pollution in the cities and so forth. But I, I don't believe, you know, I don't believe in the type of climate change that they're, that they're really the, the climate change narrative. See, they used to they used to call it global warming. Mm. But you know why they don't call it global warming anymore? The no. same idea, though. No, what? Well, they don't call it global warming because it's become obvious that the earth is really not warming. So they had to call it something different. Mm. Okay. Then, but that's, that's my take on it. Yeah. That's my take on it. So, those four problems. And, of course, the suggestion is, you know, elect me president, I'm going to solve all these problems. To me, the most the most outrageous one is, is the idea that he's going to make everyone wear a mask when the president doesn't have the authority to do that. But mm. I think that reveals... See, the Democrats seem to think... I, I shouldn't put them all in the same boat, but... Mm. but some of them seem to think, if only they were in power, up at the top, then they could make, they could tell everyone else how to live their life, and everything would be fine. See, Republicans don't believe that. Mm. Republicans believe in, in uh, freedom, the, uh, the Bill of Rights, individualism, and that's what made, has made uh, America the country it is. So, uh, that's yeah. that, I'm just yeah. kind of, so I heard they said something about. About no, gun, guns, gun. What about? Because I know that first, one, and I did catch part. What about, about guns? No, uh, there, there, there was a couple of days ago. There was a whole big thing. Everybody was talking about guns this and and mm -hmm. guns that and how it's killing a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So you didn't say nothing about guns, man, because it spent a whole day, a whole night, or whatever. He didn't talk much about it, but mm. but uh, the thing is, he there's this uh, there's this politician in Texas that wanted to take everyone's guns away from him, <laughs> and uh, he's going to put, Biden said he's going to put him in, in uh, some kind of a government position so we can do that. I mean, he, they do want to take away, I think, I think there is definite, a, a good number of people in the Democrat Party that want to take guns away. Well, I mean, like, they want to take guns away from from average people. Mm. Yeah. They don't believe in the uh, the Second Amendment. They don't believe in the Second Amendment. And also, obviously, there's right now, there's a big group that wants to uh, defund the police and make the police, uh, you know, make it a... Uh, they think they... Uh, in fact, to a certain extent, they have demonized the police, which is a, which is a terrible thing to do, mm. because we, from my my perspective, uh, we need police to keep peace in a neighborhood. I mean, what are the police? The people that, that we hire to maintain uh, peace. Yeah, well, I think that uh, as far as far as what I've been, uh, what I what I know is like I think I don't know if they, I think they want to demilitarize the police. The police have become too much. Of a military, you know what I mean? We talked about this before, and plus, you know, if you want to get into that whole thing, you know, the matter of some police, you know, if, if the, you say the police, the police come down that that uh, the little kid Tamir Rice, he's playing in the park like any little little kid by himself. They just came up without any word warning and just shot that little kid. That kid wasn't even ten. I don't know how old he was. It's like I don't five, six. I don't know how he was, and that's what people are reacting to things like that. Yeah, uh, but I'm not going to debate you about the police because you know everybody has their thing on the police. I've always had good relations with police all over the world. Believe me, I have not. <laughs> well, I have all I found, kinds of problems. I found but that's individual problems. What's for me is uh, I do I do what the police tell me to do. 
In other words, if they say, yeah, uh, you don't fuss. You don't, you know, you just, you know, just go along with it. And uh, they say if you if you think you if you think you're being treated unfairly, wait for your. You should have a yeah. moment in court, and then yeah. when, that's when you can uh, say something about it. I, mean, I guess I'll wait, but I guess that's why I don't have much problem. But then you have, but then you have all kinds of police departments. Like you got police. You had it here in Missouri. Right? The police were stopping people just because they couldn't pay their the the the, 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 the police department needed to, to make take tickets to make tickets to make tickets so they can get money off of the citizens driving in their cars. Now, I know you heard yeah. about that because they, 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 they took away... Oh, you mean a speed trap? Yeah, that's that kind of thing. You know yeah. what I mean? So that was a big problem. Oh, I've, and, I've experienced that. Yeah, and yeah, then I've you have... That. Then in some big cities, like I heard in Los Angeles, you have actually you have actually gangs in the police force. Like within, In the police force, you have gangs. You know? Yeah. And what happens is... Oh, no, wait, no, wait a second. I read... Oh, no, did I read this? I think... I think I read this. Or I saw it... I, I think I read this. There was a... a, a there's a formula, not a formula, but in a, in in, a, in Rochester, New York, or Buffalo, New York, something up there in New York State, way up there in New York State. There's this thing where the the the, the a, a woman police officer. I mean, she's saying, here's the thing. She said, there's 20 percent of the of of, of 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 cops are not good. 20 percent are really good, and then said that 80 percent in the middle. That's the problem because. The 80% in the middle allow the 20% that are really not good to get away with stuff. And then we, because of the way the news is and the way the media is, we report on that 20% of bad. And so that makes it look like, you know, basically, you know, that makes it look like 80% of the cops are bad. That's the 20 whatever I said. However the math works out. You know, okay, yeah, 20, 20 is 40. So that means that 60% are neutral. 20% is good, 20% is bad, and we only hear about the 20% is bad. That's what she said. I'm, that's what this uh, lady uh, cop said. But I, I think I think to some extent I I agree with that. Maybe I'm not sure 20% are bad, but there are certainly some there are certainly some bad police that abuse their power. They're maybe they became policemen for the wrong reason. They wanted that authority. They abuse their power, and they need to be. Uh, they need to be trained, disciplined, and if they don't change, they need to be they, they need to be uh, oh. let go. The thing is, there are yeah, there are going to be um, policemen or individuals like anybody else, and there's going to be some bad ones. Well, let me say, let me give my own thing. Let me I, I, let me this. I don't really want to get on this police thing, okay. but I lived in in in, uh, in in Princeton, New Jersey, one time, mm -hmm. right? And the police there are highly trained. Yeah. I never had any problem in Princeton, New Jersey. This is way back. This is in the seventies when I got out, when I was in the service. Mm -hmm. as, when I was getting out the service. Then I went to to Livingston College up in New Brunswick. In New Brunswick, a little bit above New Brunswick, there's a Highland Park area and there's another another area a little bit further up in that area there. At the time, these were the worst police. You know? That's what I'm saying. Okay, that, 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 that's that can what I'm happen, man. That can happen. I mean, police departments are different. That, oh, absolutely. But that, that's just my like, point. That just police... like uh, neighborhoods are different. Uh, yeah, police departments are different. No doubt about it. I'm, but I'm now, not disagreeing with that. No, no, no. But, that's, that's not my point. My point is that in Princeton, you have Princeton University, right? Plus you have a lot. It's a rich area. Yeah. And those, those cops that they hire there, they make sure that they're trained well, that they're respectful, whatever have you. Up in New Brunswick, that's more like Rutgers University area, and it's not as prestigious, whatever have you, and maybe a little bit more poor people. And those people, the people that they get the police there, treat the people without respect. There's the problem. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, that is a problem. You know? That is a problem. But, yeah. but, yeah. but you see, the thing is, um, I think it's very, very wrong to... Now look, let's take the case of uh, this uh, George... Uh, See. George Floyd. George Floyd, yeah. That was totally wrong what he did. I mean, he he uh, he should have when he saw that the man was no longer conscious. He George Floyd. No, no, he no, he should have. He should have. That was even worse. He should have taken his. No, that's, his, that's his even worse. Off him. No, I mean, that's, that, no, that's, that's, that's I think. No, that's, I think everyone is everyone no, that looks at that is thinking, no, oh, this is horrible. That, I can't imagine anyone. That's what that set would. me off. Now look, here's the problem with that situation. That police officer that did that, that law enforcement person that did that, mm -hmm. he had a long record of being abusive to everybody. Then what happened is he yeah. was out, those other people around, this one trying to put that, 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 that formula of, of 
of you know twenty percent, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. There's other. He was out with three other officers, right? And they he didn't. was he no 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 yep. he was the trainer for those other officers. So how do you put somebody like that who's training those other officers? Then those other officers can say it because he's the senior officer. He's yeah. the example, and he's the example. But he's this guy. Nobody stopped him when no. way back when. You know what I'm saying? This is this is not just yeah. one or two or three. This was a lot of instances. Yeah. So yeah. so that's why I don't get into debates about police because police, like you said, individuals in different circumstances. In different areas, and, and police. If sometimes, if you live, if you live in the area, you're not letting you have your your, your your thing, and whatever. It's a whole bunch of things that happen here. Yeah. Anyway, it, regardless, I have to go. You gotta go. I got to go. Well, I we're got just to getting go. started. Nah, we we have to continue on, on Monday or Tuesday then. You All know, right. we have to continue on Monday and Tuesday. I really enjoyed the reading for today. Yes. Um, now we got to continue on Monday, Tuesday. You know, I try to make it on Monday, but it might be Tuesday. I think it, I could probably mm -hmm. see what, what happens on Monday so and on Monday. You asked me about um, my impressions of the uh, Democrat convention, and so mm -hmm. I gave you some of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and also, right. yeah, I think. Uh, yep. Wait, it, so, was, it was interesting. Yeah. So on Monday or Tuesday, we're not going to talk politics. We have to wait until what's this Friday? Next Friday. Yeah. Is when or, or you know Thursday we have that meeting. Yep. Know, and go to is that a night meeting or that's an evening meeting? What time is yeah, it? Yeah, it's an evening meet. It's an evening meeting. It uh, the meeting starts at um, let's see. I think the meeting starts at. I'll have to look up the time. I think it's like seven thirty. Okay, well it doesn't matter because I have to go with you anyway. But look, so what I'm trying to say is that, is that now we hold the politics. Yeah. Well, the meeting is something else. It's different. But we hold the politics the next Friday. Then we're going to talk about um, um, uh, Mr. Trump. Republican convention. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. See how that well, works? I, I, like you, I'm interested to see. I saw what the Democrats did. Mm -hmm. And I want to see what the, how the Republicans, they're going to do it differently. Yeah, wanna, of course they have yeah, to. Okay, because yeah, so they're we'll different. <laughs> So By we'll definition. See. We'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thanks a lot. All right. You take care. Yeah. Good to see you. Andy. All right. No.